and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Postseason baseball, Singy, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. What do we have on him? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Ready to go? Mookie Betts will get us started. The pitch. Way inside. And that's how game four gets underway. And the righty deals. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Guriel has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, that somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does yeah. come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Two outs, base is empty. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And there's a foul ball. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. Dodgers nothing. Diamondbacks coming to bat. This is the American League Division Series on the show. Back here in the desert, today's starting pitcher, Bobby Miller. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Bottom of the first. Now, Corbin Carroll. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Yeah, the strike. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. And the pitch. Ripped to short. 
Rojas with the throw to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Whips it to first on the run. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for Arizona. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Max Muncy at the dish. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallen slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ballgame. And here is J.D. Martinez. Big-time power. That's in there. Strike one. J.D. Martinez, part of that Red Sox team that won over 100 games in 2018 and won it all. He was one of their top hitters and has had a really good stretch where he's been one of the top sluggers in baseball. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. And I think you could credit J.D. Martinez with a lot of the success that that offense had because he took things to another level in terms of his preparation, watching video, paying attention to detail, and his teammates fed off that. And a 1-2. That's bolted. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Here's Jason Hayward. First offering, misses the mark. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fought off foul. One, one now. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And now two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of this stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Late swing, foul to the left. Now he breaks his bat. Slings to first. That's the third out. One left for L.A., We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
bottom of the second. Here now the first baseman, the Christian Walker. The first baseman, Christian Walker. The wind of the pitch. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Righty to the plate. And that one missing low. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. Kicks and deals. Right through there for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. The count two and one. That's down and in. Three two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Three two on the way. Center field. Outman in position. And there's one down. Batty. The catch. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Down the left field line, should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And it's second with one away. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And that's oh, outside. That's Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is fouled back. Tapped out in front of the plate. The throw to first, two away. Alec Thomas now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That's in there. That's strike one. Now one and one. One and one. One and two here. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. One hit, one left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Outman. Gallon back to work. Ball one low. Count one and oh.
There's a strike. On the ground right side. Marte throws the first in time. And one away in the top of the third. Miguel. Miguel Rojas at the play. Rojas in his ninth season hitting ninth in today's lineup and he was born in Venezuela in the air right field Carroll moving under it pulls it down and there's two gone now that second base Mookie. and now it's Mookie Betts 0 for 1 with a fly out. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. That's off the mark, and it's 1 to 0. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. The pitch. Out to short. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, and they get the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here at Chase Field we as we go to the, to the last of the third. The third now, season. here is Evan Longoria. Longoria. The right hander back to work. Yep, that ball went out. The 1 0. Swing and a foul straight back. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. And the pitch. Falling That's behind 2 and 1. 2 1. That one missed. Really good run. Perhaps a little bit too much on that two-seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. Three-two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Next to hit for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Lifted in the air down the left side. Rojas sizes this one up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's two down. The right fielder, number seven, Corbin. This is Corbin Carroll. Let off the game with a strikeout. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Ball and a strike. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Man, just looking lost at the plate in this first A.B. Some of those swings aren't even close. Fly ball to right. And that is that. And the Diamondbacks down in order. And we are still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Inside, just missed. Chris, how about Freddie Freeman and the career that he has delivered? He's turned into one of the better all-around hitters and a really good defender at first base. In the air, out towards right center. It gets down, a base hit. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but now he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And up to the plate is Will Smith. That one's in there. Strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. This to third. To second for one. On to first, double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And now it's Max Muncy. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Nope. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Two one now. That catches the corner. The next offering misses, and it's three and two. J.D. Martinez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And a payoff pitch. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, clearly that one just got away from him. Everything was going so well in this inning, and we'll see if he can get back into the strike zone here. Martinez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Makes the catch inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're midway in the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Cattel Marte up to the plate. Cattel Marte. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's inside, and it's two and one. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Tommy Pham. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Ball one there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Uh, 
is a 1-1. And that's in there at the knees. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Next pitch in the dirt. Ball two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Up next to the diamond. The first base. And now it's Christian Walker. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That's in there, and that is strike one. The pitch. Strike two. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Marte on second. Fam at first with no outs. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Going to lay off that pitch down. Liner. Peralta makes the catch. One down. The catcher number 14, Gabriel Moreno. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Doubled in his first A.B. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Ball one and a pitch inside. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning-ending double play, boy. Righty delivers. Out in front and foul to the left side. The 1-1. One, one. Left center base hit. Here comes Marte around third. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He's also in to score. And they lead by two. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. One out, runner at second. Here's Guriel. It's in and out of his glove. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The center field, number five, Alex Chalmers. Alec Thomas, the next to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. Back here in the desert, ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward.
But why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The 0-1. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. You know, these Dodgers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. David Peralta at the plate. Grounded out his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. The 1-0. -oh. And that one off the outside edge. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. That gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Made a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Digging in, James Outman. That misses the zone, 1-0. and oh. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One and one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And a ball and two strikes. Ball two. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. He's over one. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0-1. At the belt and fires. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Throws stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything second came together game. for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch yeah, the yeah. opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Mookie now. Right down to shoot. And that's strike one. And here it comes. And that one pulled foul. The 0-2. Oh. And now one and two. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. The third baseman, 
Evan Longoria. And a pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. And that one oh, just that missed off the outside edge. Close, but call the ball. And yeah, that's ball two. And the right hander deals. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. 0 for 1 so far. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0 0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. One down, base is empty. And a nope. good eye there. Oh. It's a good take. One ball, two straight. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. The one, two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Here comes the pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Out in the left center for a line drive base hit. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Yeah, the batter now, Corbin Carroll. There's a strike. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. That one pushed to the left and foul. Going two now. Ball and one. ball one. One ball, two strikes. Inside and it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Marte. Marte in the box now. No balls and a strike. Action in the pen down there. Number 80 is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Kelly getting cranked up as well. Two on, one out. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One out. Runners at first and second. The X1 just misses. One and two to count. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And a pitch. 
Ripped to first. Caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they no, still no. drive you no, absolutely no. crazy. So first and second with two outs. Tommy Pham now at the plate. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. That one's in there. No balls, two strikes. Good eye in that spot. Perdomo over at second. Carroll on at first with two down. up the middle and a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. The run comes in to score from second. It's three zip. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Two outs. Just off the outside part of the plate. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 2-0 is in for a strike. And that one fouled off. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Back here at the ballpark, Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The first base is number five. One of the things you may notice with Freddie Freeman, he always wears long sleeves. And you go back and remember his mom, Rosemary, she died of melanoma, skin cancer, back in 2000. And that's one of the ways that Freddie honors her every game. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Whoa. Close, but call the ball. One and one. If you're in the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Down the line towards the corner. Carroll moves towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The batter now will be Will Smith. there for strike one. That's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And there's a ball. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Perdomo calls it in, and there's two away. The first base is number 13, Matt Munson. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Max Muncy. Yeah. 
And that's in there for strike one. Good eye right there. Next offering is down low. And a count two and one. And strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a two two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand hitter waits. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three up, three down for him there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Dodgers nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 80. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping Wait, he's the guy to keep him right, within right. striking Wait, distance. Now pitching for the Dodgers, number 80, MS. And now the catcher comes up to him, Gabriel Moreno. The catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And a pitch. Ripped to third and caught. Now got it. Left field. Lourdes. Guriel. Here's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Guriel measures six feet four inches, 29 years old, and he was born in Cuba. That one found hard the other way. And he'll one. Now a one and a one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Here's a one one. Nope, inside, ball two. Bounce to the right side. Betts whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now the center field. And stepping in is the speedy Alec Thomas. First pitch just misses. Good That's eye right through. there. Next pitch Freedom. way upstairs. And the righty deals. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Two outs, runner at first. Evan Longoria stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That one misses. That's five straight. Go you know, the two out walk. Got to erase that and really go to work on the hitter. You got to go ahead and just let him steal if he's going to. Try to create the swing and miss and get out of this jam. Next offering misses. And now 2-0. And, oh. and you wonder, is he in his head a little bit? 
Even if the base runner doesn't steal right here, what's great is that he is dividing the attention of the pitcher and may serve to give his teammate a better pitch to hit at the plate. Oh, Checks over to first, back safely. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> That or just going off of gut or feel? What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. And the 3-1. Popped in the air. Left field. Peralta drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that's the inning. One left for Arizona, but they lead it 3 nothing. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Gallon back to work. <laughs> Bullpen activity starting up now. Ryan Thompson up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Number 57 warming up as well. a strikeout. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Struck out on just three pitches last time. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. And it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And next for LA, David Peralta. Swing and a ball popped up. Brings it in. Two way down. The of the game. So two down now. And here is James Outman. First pitch. And that's in for a strike. Hayward off the of first with two away. And it's nope, one and one. Ball. I got a ball, one three. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. 
Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. Right side, foul territory. Walker brings it in for the third out. Dodgers strand a couple. They trail it here, 3 nothing. New pitcher on now, Caleb Ferguson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. The pitch. That oh, one misses, one. ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. A handful have turned into outs, but of the balls they put in play, 10 have been line drives. I say keep barreling the ball and good things will happen. Don't let that get you frustrated. Swing and a miss, one and two. Got him swinging. Now back. Right Next to hit, Corbin Carroll. Carroll. That one's in there on one. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Ball All one. one there. One ball, two strikes. Knocks it down to the hole. Now Here's Cattell Marte. One for three. Marte. Late swing fouled off. Now snap throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Next pitch is downstairs. This one high in the air to left center. Outman moving under it. Snags it for the second out. Now that the designated hitter, Tommy. Man. Now it's the DH, Tommy Fan. Yeah. In there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. In the dirt. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Snap throw to first. And he dives back in safely. And he deals. And now one and two.
That one out to right. Hayward under it. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. So one hit is all they get. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chase Field, now at the plate, Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Perdomo on to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. In there and it's on one. Righty to the plate. And that's a strike. And the next pitch is way outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Here's a 1-2. And a ball evens the count. Two now. And now it's filled up. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Here comes a 3-2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte going after it. Two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. That's a strike. Going around. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Just a slow ground ball this time. On the run, throw to first. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still down 3-0. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Joe Kelly. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. And another ball. That one catches the corner for a strike. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Oh. 
Out to short. Rojas. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. And he'll two. Delivers outside. I struck him out looking. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Bounce back to the mound, and a base hit right there. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Waste no time there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So two on with two away. Evan Longoria stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No movement on the base. It's ball one. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball left side. The 1-1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The throw in. Safe at the play. And they lead by four. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. The pitcher on here, Alex Vesia. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Hey. Thomas, the lead runner out at second. Longoria at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch misses way outside.
turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Got him. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. We go to the ninth. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. And here we are, ninth inning elimination game, and they're trying to keep their season alive. They need him to get on base. He's got to find a way just to quiet things down, work his way onto the base pass so that they can have an inning and get back in this game. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Kyle Nelson preparing to come on if needed. Ginkle, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. This skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. He was late in strike two. And the 1-2 misses to even the count. No, with the shift on, hits right into it. They get the out on Muncy. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Ninth inning elimination game. Chris, it's a tall task. They're going to need a crooked number to tie this game up. Yeah, and they just have to remember that they have had many innings over the course of the year where they've scored more runs needed than they need in this one. So just relax, get your pitch, and make something happen. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. in there for strike one. And that one cutting but missing down low. Bounce to the right. And that is it. They are heading for the ALCS. Tonight's pay to pay, 48,686. The Diamond, thank you for joining us here at Chase Field. And remind you to please drive home safely.